So, I'm gonna approach a guard. I don't wanna approach it by stepping in because she gets uh, De La Hiva, reverse De La Hiva, all that fun stuff. So, I'm gonna approach, I'm gonna grab toes, and then I'm gonna step in, shove this way. So all, I go this side a lot of times. Um, sometimes if it's hard to pass that way, I'll go weak side because a lot of people will pass this way. So they have more reps in defending this way. So sometimes I'll switch it up and come this way because their defense on this side is gonna be lower. Unless they're left-handed and they're used to people going that way or they go against somebody that's left-handed a lot. So feet, split the middle, shove this one down, and then I'm gonna sit right on the shin. Okay, I don't wanna to be too far forward because if she really kicks that up, it's gonna take me up and over, expose my legs. I don't wanna to be too far back because my balance is up, she just kicks me and the arm gets away. So, I'm in and I'm sitting. And like I had this kind of wide base and I'm really sitting on that, that foot or shin. You can start off here because like if she kicks me back, I can kind of regain um, and I'm too far back for her to really kick me forward. So I'm going to collar grip and then I'm going to grab here. So I'm going outside of the knee. I'm going to cut across and almost like I'm doing a knee slice pass. So I cut and I pull this as well. I'm going to end up hopping over to that side. So I go here. Almost like a knee cut, so where I'm stapling this down and I'm starting to shove this down. I can hit my knee and I'm going to turn and face. Okay. Then from here, I'm really driving this down. That way I can, so I have active toes, so I'm going to push and then I'm going to hop over to my side control. It's called the 100% pass. And it's actually very effective. I don't know if it's a 100% success rate, but it's still <laughs> high up there. So toes, split the middle, shove one down, and sit on it. Here, here. Grabbing the outside of the pant. I'm gonna shuffle, pin, reface. Hop. And then, see I'm still extending this. I can go to bring her flat or Typically, that's what I do. It's like, I'll pull this back down. I still have control of it. I'll clamp down on the hip, and I'll climb the ladder, get my cross face, and get a standard side control. So, toes, split, shove that down, sit on it. Here, or here. Can you just do a back take from there, though? You could, yes. So, feet, boom, boom, sit, here. So, if I'm looking to take the back, boom, I'm gonna let go of the pant, I'm gonna hit my cross face, and get my seatbelt. And actually, so we can lead into the back, let's do it that way, that way. So once I hop over, I'm gonna pull that, and really put my chest to her back so she can't just put it flat. Because if I'm going here and I have too much space, I have side control, but I want her back. So, go here, tight, here, get my seatbelt. And then we'll go from there. Toes, here. Questions? <laughs> All right, on three, four, two, three.